What's going on, Rob Mob? Coming at you with another video. Now, this is going to be Unit 2, Lesson 12, a percentage error problem. Something that you all have trouble with. We really need to pay attention to exactly what our numbers represent and where to plug them in to the friendly equation that we had gotten on our one pager for our exam. If you're from a different year that is not 2019, follow along and make sure you take this equation down because it will help you with all of the problems that you will have in this lesson. All right, let's get started. Uh, Veer calculates that an object will take 2.3 seconds to fall to the ground. Now, a key phrase here is calculates, all right? So he calculates that it will take 2.3 seconds to fall to the ground. When Veer times the object falling, it takes 2.5 seconds. We can already see there's a bit of a difference, right? And this is when he times it. What is Veer's percent error in his calculation? All right, so let's first define what numbers they gave us. So we see two numbers here, a 2.3 and a 2.5. So Veer calculates that an object will take 2.3 seconds to fall to the ground. So what is that? 2.3, that is the measured value. That is the assumed value based on what Veer thinks is going to happen in this situation. Now, after the experiment, Veer finds out that the actual rate at which the object falls is going to be 2.5 seconds. So we have a calculated value, which is 2.3. This is what Veer assumes the object is going to take to fall. And then we have 2.5 seconds, the actual value. So in order to find percentage error, our equation, and something that you should write down if you're ever doing problems like this at the top of your page, just to make it a little easier for yourself so you could reference, it is always going to be the measured minus the actual over the actual. And that will give us our percentage error. So let's try plugging in these values to find out our percentage error. So M is our measured, and our measured again was that 2.3, 2.3 seconds, and then we are minusing our actual 2.5 seconds, and then dividing by our actual, which is 2.5 seconds. Just that easy, let's do a little bit of simplification. What we're going to be left with is point, negative 0 0.2 seconds, make sure you label your negative, over 2.5 seconds. Now that's not quite our answer, we have to find out our answer as a percentage to know what the error was on Veer's calculations. So I'm going to rewrite this right down here, negative 0.2 over 2.5. Five. Now, there are a lot of different ways to simplify this to find our percentage, but the most easiest way for me would be multiplying the top and the bottom by 40. And what we are going to get is 100 on the bottom, which we know will represent a fraction as a, a percentage as a fraction, and then negative 0.2 times 40 is going to give us negative 8, which means that our error is 8%. 